Guys, welcome to the review of the Mazda CX-60. The CX-60 is Mazda's attempt to get into the premium segment. I'm going to reveal the price at the end because you're going to want to stick around for that. Let's get into some specs. In terms of fuel size, you're looking at a 58 litre tank. It's got a 2.5 litre engine. Power output and Newton meters, you're looking at 141 kilowatts of power and 261 Newton meters of torque. Looking at the interior of the Mazda CX-60, it's an extremely great premium build quality. Now, I did say at the beginning that it is Mazda's attempt to get into the premium segment. So you will see premium written all over from the feeling of the leather. When you, uh, anything that you touch in this car will be premium. Even the price is premium. But remember, I'm going to reveal that at the end. In terms of airbags, you're looking at seven airbags. This is an automatic transmission. Some really, really great. Now, this is the individual. You do get dynamic and individual. You get two variants in this Mazda CX-60. This one you're looking at now is the individual. It's a really, really smart. An additional feature you get in the individual over the dynamic is a 360 camera, which works absolutely great. You get adaptive cruise control as well. And you'll see that you do get a panoramic sunroof. The Mazda CX-60 also includes onboard navigation and you've got leather seats all around and you've got 20 inch tires. Now, those are just some of the spe You do have three different drive modes, sport, normal, and off-road. When you toggle between the modes, you can see that the instrument cluster in the front does change. Can you see that button on the top there? You press, the, currently you're in park, so you press the button and then you slide it to the left and then you can push it down to go into drive as I show you here now. So basically, if you are doing a lot of three-point turns or you are toggling between reverse and drive, you wouldn't have the worry of ever getting into park because to get it back into park, you actually have to move the, the shift to the right. And that rotary dial controls the infotainment system and the infotainment system is not touchscreen. Everything is controlled from the that, that dial that I showed you there. And Ma the Mazda Connect system actually works very, very well. Some would say they would prefer touchscreen, but Mazda, the reason why Mazda has not included, it, uh, included touchscreen is because they say that it's a safety feature. So if we do have a touchscreen, then you might be pulled to not to basically you know get your attention away from the road you can see i'm sure demonstrating to you now electrically adjusting the steering wheel it works very very well and actually you know the newer cars that are coming out do have this feature not all of them but the ones that do it really makes it much easier to adjust the steering wheel looking at the back it's very very well built leather seats you got absolutely enough rear space leg room headroom absolutely perfect you got those pouches at the back which are great and the two cup holders there actually work very well and they are not it's very sturdy there's a view of the panoramic sunroof as well i did say i'm going to get to the price at the end so here we are the dynamic will cost you 740,000, and this one that we are in now will cost you 845,000. what do you guys think of the price value for money maybe not but it's a very one thing you will know is mazda is giving you premium quality but is this premium quality coming at too high of a price guys would you purchase this Mazda CX-60? Please let me know in the comments below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are still watching now, 95% of you guys who are, who are watching these videos are not subscribed. Please, if you hit that subscribe button, it really, really helps the channel and pushes these videos that, and that it can benefit many other people. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you in next week's video.